Hi guys! And welcome to an extra special episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. This is the Sunday collaboration for the TLP launch of the eight new colours. Yes. So you've got Chris, Jody, and Mitchell that have already poured before us. Yeah. You've got ourselves, then you've got Christina Welsh going right after us. Yep. And we're all using two of the eight new colours. That's so exciting. Which one are you using, sir? I, of course, am using Show Pony. And I've also got Zeus. So we'll be using both of these in yes. our pours today. Everyone that's pouring today is using these two colours. Yes. Now, the theme of the collab is kind of hometown, where we're from, yeah. that kind of thing. Inspirational. In, exactly, about where we are from, so we can tell you a little bit more about ourselves. Yes. So really excited. These are now two of the six, sorry, two of the eight, the other six can all be purchased today. Yes. So go grab yourself a little show pony in Zeus. Really, really beautiful colors, and we'll show you how we use them. In fact, we are on a tight time schedule today. Yes, we are. So without much further ado, let's get you to the table, and then we'll talk to you a little bit more about what we're doing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and I am so excited about today's pour. Um, today is this little piggy's collaboration, uh -huh. and they have made me this color. They have? It's called Show Pony. Yep. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I'm in love with it. You've used it once before. I have stunning. used it once before. Very yes, cool. I have. I'm still excited about it. And then we have Zeus which is this lovely gold color. Now they're two of the eight colors that as of right this minute, you are gonna be able to go purchase. Oh, that's awesome. The collaboration actually coincides with the release of those in fact colors. So yes. Super cool. Yes. And what are you gonna use with those TLPs, Show Pony? Um, you know what? I have this sea green. Deep right? sea. Deep sea mm -hmm. um, that we got from Shelly. Yeah, thank you, Shelly. I have color. this, uh, this is Glacier Blue by uh, S. Arteza. Arteza. This is violet. Violet, you're turning violet. Violet, violet. turning violet, violet. And then this is just titanium white. Okay, and what are you titanium. gonna be doing with the colors? Um, I am going to be doing a ring pour. I guessed it. Yes. It's a show pony special. Yes. And you're using show pony. Yes. So why the heck not? You know, why the devil not? Exactly. And and why are these colors in particular like reminiscent of your hometown? Like what's it all about? Well, because um, I got these colors from the, the crew of Bacchus. Okay. Which is, it's it's a, uh, a crew is like a house in, in New Orleans. It's like a club okay. pretty much. And, um, and what it is is, uh, that this crew, it's one of the floats in in Mardi Gras, okay. during Mardi Gras, and they're the ones who throws the beads and everything off of the floats, but this this particular crew is actually very famous. Okay. Um, and they were founded in 1968 by Owen Brennan Jr., and it was the first modern super crew. Oh, okay. Yes. But why, um, why this for you? Why this for me? Because I was born near New Orleans. That's in Louisiana. In Louisiana. There we are. I was just bringing yes. it back around full circle. Yes. Okay, and, gotcha. Uh, and so this just really inspired me. So yeah. I have a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a base coat down. Got it. All right guys, so I got my base coat down. Now, now it's time to layer my delicious cup here. And apologies for the noise in the background. I know. It's a weekend where angle grinders have decided to come out in full force. All right. Go for it, Shapona. Okay. Now we will speed this up for brevity. Yes. Um, but these are the wonderful colors that Shapony has. The Zeus and the Shapony right here. The Glacier Blue, the Deep Sea, the White, and the wonderful Violet Eternity Violet Violet. Yes. Go for it. Hey guys, so I have my deliciously layered cup right here, and as you can see, show ponies on top. <laughs> yes, um, now I'm gonna go ahead and start my ring. Go for it. All 
All right, guys, so you know what time it is? Nate, tell me the name of the crew again. Crew of Bacchus. A Bacchus. Bacchus, the god of wine. Oh, so it's the mm -hmm. crew of Bacchus. Mm -hmm. Ring pour with TLPs, show podiums, use tilting time. Yes. <laughs> Let's tilt this bad boy out. Let's tilt it out, guys. Wow, guys, hmm. I'm in love with this piece. I love the show pony that pops through here and there. The Zeus that's all through here, like this deep sea green, right? Deep sea, deep yeah. sea. Um, I love. I think it's just incredible. It's giving me like this amazing '80s kind of feel to it. Yeah, yeah. I I, I love how actually the Zeus has turned like that really delicious caramel color because you I put know. it next to the white. I know. And then with the deep sea and the violet and the show poem, it's stunning. Yeah. I really love it. I love it. Yeah. I'm going to get my edges and we'll take you guys in for a close up. Let's do it. Let's boy. do it. Congrats. Thank you. Wowzers, that was awesome. Oh my God, so amazing. Now, before I get to my pour, because it is just gonna be a voiceover, I wanted to give you a little bit of info about my inspiration. So yeah. my hometown, as you can tell, I'm not originally from Texas. 
is England. My home country is England. <laughs> and so what I've decided to do is use the inspiration from the biggest show pony in England. <laughs> it's actually the Queen of England. Oh, nice. She's always known for wearing bright and bold colours, yep. which is what immediately made me think of show pony. And clearly she's always dripping in a bit of gold because she's got the crown <laughs> jewels or a tiara or something about her. So my inspiration is actually the Queen of England. Oh, who's that's awesome. Also just celebrated 70 years on the throne. She sure did. History in the making, peeps. So because of that, I literally just wanted to use these two colors. So okay. my paw is just to use some show pony. Yeah. But let me show you what I've done with it. So it's fair to say that ever since my first blob painting just a week ago, I have now been obsessed and I can't get these things out of my head. Um, so every time I'm thinking about something now, it's in the terms of a blob. I've got two or three more of these on the go. So when we were asked to do the collaboration using Show Pony and Zeus, I didn't think to myself, well, I had to just use these two colors, but the blob just seemed like the perfect way to just use these two colors and showcase them in this pour. So here you can see me putting Show Pony down on this 36 by 24 inch canvas. And in the alternate squares, I'm gonna use Zeus. This has been mixed with the True Saxe Gloss Gel Medium and a little squirt of gel varnish in there. Um, so I'm um, using this just with a sponge brush just to paint on the alternate squares. process of actually doing this blob painting other than the 24 hours that it takes to dry between each layer this is actually the most time consuming part taping off and drawing on the squares so um, you just got to be a bit patient with this you know clearly the attention to detail and being accurate here just makes this a whole lot neater and crisper and they are traits that I am not known for but um, learning as I go along and now taking off the tape to reveal those squares underneath. I'm just finishing up these squares I thought I'd take a minute just to talk to you about the recipe so in the previous blob painting that I used I was using acrylic paints so this time I was using TLPs and needed to get something that was a very similar consistency so I reached for my trusty the Saks True Flow Gloss Gel Medium which is what I use for the slick piggy recipe when we're using these in acrylic pores and I've used here two ounces of the gel medium to one teaspoon of pigment and then two ounces of Liquitex gloss varnish and four ounces of Mod Podge and that recipe will give you something that you can then pipe so that's two ounces of gloss gel medium two ounces 
of the Liquitex Gloss Varnish and then four ounces of the Mod Podge, 50%, 25%, 25% and that is with one teaspoon of pigment and that will clearly make you eight ounces with a volume of Pipeable Blob Recipe. So here you can now see me piping my first layer of the show pony blobs onto the Zeus square. And if you can see there on the right hand side, the squeezy bottles that I've got that keep the mixture in are actually upside down. I've just cut a hole out of the bottom of the plastic cup so that I can store them upside down so that if there are any bubbles in the actual mixture that they'll rise to the top, which clearly is bottom of what I'm going to be using but you've still got to torch these things off as you go along and you've got to work fairly quick because if you leave it for even just a few minutes it starts to form a skin and then it's really hard to pop the bubbles so I've just laid out there my show pony blobs and now I'm going to layer the Zeus blobs on the show pony squares and once I've done every square I'll torch it again and then leave it for just 24 hours and you'll be able to see the difference here between the wet result and the dry result as this dries 24 hours later. see on the far left hand side of my table just off the canvas there is my little test card so I took a few days beforehand just to test out a few recipes using different amounts of gloss varnish and gel medium and Mod Podge to try and get the best pipeable consistency because what you want for blob pours is that when you turn the squeeze bottle up that the mixture doesn't come running out you also want to make sure that when you pipe it that it does create a mound but you don't want to create that little kind of Hershey, Hershey kiss kind of little ripple at the very top um, you do want to be able to just pour this out and then create that perfect mound just like a macaron if you're ever baking so um, did some testing first and then that's how I came up with this recipe but you can see that the show pony blobs are so much darker in the dried first layer than the second layer that I've just piped because the Mod Podge dries clear and you get this super super shiny result which is the TLPs mixed in here with the gel medium which when they do dry, dry so beautiful and shiny it's so cool to see. Heading into my third layer now, again alternating the colours. I wasn't sure whether I was going to stop at three layers or do a final fourth layer. Um, you'll see as I carry on here, but clearly one of the techniques to pouring the blobs is having a steady hand, pouring the blob in the same place rather than moving the squeeze bottle around and just kind of getting to the point of understanding the control of how much you're squeezing out of the bottle so that you can kind of see the gradients of the other rings underneath it. Um, so there's definitely some technique here and it definitely took some kind of trial and error as I was going through these.
So I decided to do just one more layer, a really tiny layer on top of the fourth, sorry, the third to give me the fourth layer, as you can see now drying darker. Now just there in the top right hand side, you can see I made my first kind of mistake. And I was shouting at Jeremy in the background, help, I need some help. So um, what I, I mean, I'm glad I did this because this is actually the first time that I actually messed up a blob. So if you do mess up a blob though, it's really easy to fix. So the blob underneath was totally dry. I just took a Q-tip. With that Q-tip, I'm just cleaning off the remnants of whatever it is that I accidentally squeezed out of the bottle. Um, and then I'm gonna apply the next blob back again. So it's kind of just, you know, being a little gentle with it, just cleaning it up, taking all that um, residue of the blob that you don't want off the top there and I, I was being really really careful because I wasn't quite sure how dry that blob that third level was but it was actually completely dry so you'll see I kind of get a little braver in a second but just using that q-tip just to clean off that top and you'll notice I actually have to clean it off again um, so um, yeah definitely do not and I'm kind of glad I did this now because it's kind of made me a lot braver with them don't be afraid of this as long as that layer underneath is dry then you can absolutely fix a blob if it goes wrong. And you'll see me do it here again. fourth layer of blobs on here. Stand by guys because we'll show you some dried results. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed those. Show Pony, yes. tell me about your ring pull. Oh my God, I loved it. Um, these colors just really have inspired me and like from the cruise of, of all the parades and the floats and everything in, in New Orleans and uh, from Mardi Gras, it just really, it just stood out. So I love it. Yeah, let me show you the dried results. Do it, let's see it. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of the way so it focuses on your paw. Yeah, it's so nice. I love it. You can see the show pony and the Zeus all the way through it. Yeah, yeah, totally. I love it. It's such a great piece. I was a very successful pour, sir. Okay, so you saw me pour yet another blob painting, this time with the TLPs in it as I perfected yeah. a wonderful recipe. Now, what I didn't show you on the screen was that I resined the back of this piece using show pony and Zeus, but that was really there just to tighten up this canvas for me so that yeah. I had a really, really solid kind of flat space to work on. And this is my end piece, everyone. I actually painted the edges, excuse me, Jeremy, yep. of this piece in alternate colors. And if I can tilt this one sideways for you, you can see those wonderful blobs of Zeus and Show Pony 
this is like dried really pretty it's really hard for me to catch this because it's so shiny that Zeus on here looks like gold foil it's so shiny but that was my blob painting I loved it it was a really it's wonderful, incredible wonderful excuse to do yet another one of these blobs yes there will be more there will be more all right people so that is it thank you so very much again to the guys at this little piggy in the fluid hyphen art.co for inviting us to this collab please 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 go check out jody mitchell chris and christina who's following us right now mm -hmm. and go and see what they've done because i know they're all doing different things yes beautiful ways to just showcase these wonderful colors and we'll be back here on tuesday for yet another pour yep we sure will all right guys you have a great day everyone bye we'll see guys you very soon. bye Cool. Awesome. Awesome. And now to cool. spank the Patreons. Yes, let's spank the Patreons. Let's do it. Who are the Patreons? Well, the Massy Posse, we like <laughs> to call them, are a group of people that have signed up to patreon.com. And on our Patreonage, you have the opportunity to get levels and perks for different things. Yes. So at one level, you might get a sneak peek behind the scenes video or some footage. At another level, you'll be invited to monthly off the YouTube channel live streams. And at a separate level, you might also get once a month tutorials. Yes. So it's a really fun opportunity for people just to have a completely different view of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. So we have some people to thank. Yes. At our gold level, we have Elizabeth Galano, Gillian Kennedy, we have Gloria Salaki and Jane Klein. We have Janice Swansea and Kelly Stowell. We have Kirsten Blackley. We have Linda Seriani. We have Mary Doulas or Mama Doulas. Mama Doulas. Patsy Petrelli and Rebecca Hawes Winters. We have Sharon Luffy and Stephanie Hancock. We've got Tammy Housebrook. We've got Terry Leshner and we've got Trisha West. Yes. Then in our platinum level, we have Elaine Burton, Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve. We have Susan Chigori. And Susan Shepperson. Susan Shepperson. Yes. So thank you so very much to those guys and everyone else that's here down below, our bronze and silver Patreons too. We really yeah. appreciate you. We really appreciate you wanting to be here with us and support us through this wonderful journey of art. Honestly, we really can't thank you enough, so thank you so very much. 